advent of the new Justice League trailer and the announcement of Flashpoint in the DCEU, that got us at Nerd Make thinking. The Justice League and all of their respective members have fought countless threats, some more powerful than others, but who are the most powerful in all of the DC universes? Who reigns supreme over the Man of Steel? Could it be the Amazonian Princess? The King of Atlantis? Well, that's what we're here to tell you, nerds. I'm TJ of Nerdmake, and it's been a while, so stick around and find out the top 10 most powerful DC characters. Number 10, The Anti-Monitor. Coming from the Anti-Matter universe, Anti-Monitor is just that. He is the Monitor's counterpart. He is the one responsible for the original Crisis on Infinite Earths. The sole guardian of the Sinestro Corps and once, against his will, was the source of the Black Lantern Corps' central power battery. Anti-Monitor is definitely among the top 10 most powerful beings in DC, having caused more deaths than any other villain the DC Universe has ever encountered. He has destroyed and absorbed thousands of positive matter universes. The Joker has nothing on him. Having immense strength and durability, he was able to shrug off blows from Superman and stalemate the Spectre. He was also able to defeat hordes of superheroes, with the ability to alter reality, fire bolts of energy, time travel, and by absorbing universes became more powerful than his counterpart, the Monitor. He can create shadow versions of himself and also absorb these shadow demons to recharge himself. A truly terrifying being, and one that no hero should or can underestimate. Number 9, Krona. Obsessed with finding the origin of the universe itself and how it came to existence, Krona beats out Anti-Monitor in this list. Recently, he has even revealed to be the main antagonist of the Brightest Day story arc. As a Maltusian, Krona is virtually immortal and invulnerable and possesses a vast amount of psionic powers. His full list of powers thus far include, and I quote, <clears throat> Blast powers, divine powers, energy manipulation, immortality, vast intellect, invulnerability, stamina, super strength, telekinesis, and telepathy. Number 8, SUPERMAN! I am gonna butcher this name, but we're going with Adventures of Superman pronunciation, so... Mr. Mix Yes Spitlick. Mr. Mix Yes Spitlick. Mix Mix Yes... No! Repeat after me, bright boy. It's Mix Yes Spitlick. Up next on this list is everyone's not-so-favorite fifth dimensional imp. Despite some of his past appearances in comics, shows, and games, Mr. M isn't one to take lightly. With the power to do almost anything he can imagine, Mr. M is almost like Superman's personal Joker. He could transform Superman into ashes or erase him from existence, but eh, where's the fun in that? How does he do it? Despite all of his powers, however, Mr. M acts as more of a nuisance to the Man of Steel than a threat constantly challenging and otherwise bothering Superman in his daily life. Should things change, however, well, we better have a plan. Kill Ted Jesus! Gosh, you're thick! Now for the last time! Uh... Number 7, The Endless. The Endless are seven siblings that embody seven different fundamental forces of existence itself. Destiny, death, dream, destruction, desire, despair, and delirium. Each of them are ageless, immortal, and nigh omnipotent. Each of the Endless follows specific rules and guidelines on how each live their lives. One of these rules being that should you spill the blood of the family, harm shall befall you as well. Another rule being not to fall in love with mortals, for nothing good can come out of such a union, almost like a demon and angel Nephilim situation. Both of these rules have been shown in their comics and reflect the reasoning for them in the first place. Trust me, it gets ugly. Number 6, the D-Creator. Summoned by the cult of the unwritten book, D-Creator was summoned to bring about the end and unmake the world. The D-Creator is an entity of pure annihilation, unable to be reasoned with or even stopped. Members of Doom Patrol succeeded in slowing him down to such point that no one would notice the slow disappearance of the universe by using similar vibration equal to his powers. The D-Creator has no personality, no morals, holds no ties to good or evil, and he simply decreates things, not out of hate or pleasure, but because it's in his nature. I mean, it's in the name. Number 5, Eclipso. The first incarnation of the Spirit of Wrath who went rogue, Eclipso was sealed inside the Heart of Darkness, not that one. He could possess those that came into contact with it, most famously Bruce Gordon. 
As a once divine being, Eclipso possesses vast magical capabilities that can be wielded to a variety of effects, including flight, size manipulation, and weather manipulation. He can even produce energy blasts from his hands and his left eye. He's super strong, fast, and like many on this list, immortal. He is capable of taking possession of any person who comes into contact with the Black Diamond which contains his soul, the Heart of Darkness. Again, that's the Black Diamond inside him. You know, not Eric Chahi, the Heart of Darkness. Number 4, the Spectre. Another divine being, the Spectre is of near unlimited might whose mission is to unleash the wrath of God upon evil men. However, he's always bound to the soul of a deceased human. So, literally, there's no weakness to him just jumping from body to body to body. It's kind of a broken OP character trait, honestly. Number 3, Michael the Amurgos. Spoiler to Luce for Morningstar and son to Yahweh, Michael Demiurgos is, along with his brother, one of two fictionally accredited with the creation of the DC Multiverse. He's often described as the second mightiest of all beings God created. Think of it this way, if this was Marvel, he'd be a Celestial. Michael possesses the Demiurgic power. This power is essentially the building block for everything. Even concepts such as magic, cosmic and primordial power, time, dreams, emotions, they all fall under one big category that is under Demiurgic power. And because Michael has infinite amounts of it, he has the number three spot on this list. Number two, Lucifer Morningstar. Once the most powerful and most beautiful of all angels in existence, and one of two fictionally accredited with the creation of the DC multiverse, his brother Michael included, Lucifer was sent by the Presence to rule over Hell after he rebelled. Lucifer also possesses a multitude of abilities similar to Michael Demerogos, but he has his own flares as well. His three signature powers are the Lightbringer Flames, which can destroy almost anything and are unique, hence the name. His Nigh Omniscience allows him to be 10 steps ahead of all others and know almost everything. The Will of God, which can manipulate reality on any scale he so wishes. Much like Mr. Mix. He also has various other powers like divine magic, soul creation, etc. After governing Hell, though, for more than 10 billion years, you can bet he left to look for a way out of predestination, especially to escape Yahweh's great plan. So who is this great Yahweh, you may be asking? The powerful being able to bring life onto the DC Universe and oversee the works of his two sons, Lucifer and Michael? Well, you might just know him by another name, or adorable form. Which leads us to number one, the Presence. The single most powerful being in all of DC is the Presence, aka Yahweh and the God of the Covenant. He is the creator and the God of the DC Universe, though he's more often spoken of than actually seen. The few times he has been seen, he has taken on a new form, each one appearing at key points in the DC timeline. These forms include, but are not limited to, <coughs> The Voice. In more fun in comics issue number 52, he appeared in form of The Voice, which is a discarnate voice of God. The Hand. First seen in Green Lantern Volume 2, issue number 40, whereas an image of a hand appeared out of a random nebula. DC Comics has referred to it as the start of the creation of the DC Multiverse, or better known as the Big Bang. The Source. In Jack Kirby's Fourth World comics, the Source was depicted as a universal spirit. It is mainly associated with the new gods, and thusly believed to be responsible for their creation, and empowering them with powers of the divine. The Presence. This form takes the Judeo-Christian deity, which is said to be the one who created it all. An aging gentleman. When it's appeared in person, the Presence has appeared as an aging gentleman wearing a bowler hat, dark suit, umbrella with a gray mustache. And a Scottish Terrier of different colors, because he thought it was funny to be a Scottish Terrier of different colors at various times. Being the ultimate god of the DC Universe, the Presence is omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscient. He has no limits, no weaknesses. Who could possibly topple the ultimate being of the DC Universe? Well. No one, or nothing currently. He is undefeated as of yet in the DC Comics. That's what brings the presence to the number one spot on this list. And that's all for this video. If you liked this video, make sure to drop us a comment down below and tell us your thoughts. We would love to hear them. I'm TJ of Nerdmake, signing off. 